I'm going to take my dry brush, my quarter inch dome stippler, <clears throat> and I'm going to pick up some of the black brown. I'm going to pat it off on my palette. I'm going to bring that over here. So I'm just going to pat it off on the palette so there's not much on there. Scuff it onto my paper towel. And then I'm going to very softly. So what I'm wanting to do is kind of just dirty, faint bit out onto the eggshell part of the ear. Well, we've got the cobblestone kind of rubbed in there. So again, I'll do it over on this side. You never want to have too much paint on the dry brush or it's going to fill it in. We want to see through. We want that powdery blush kind of look to it. And I'm also going to take and I'm going to do a little of that by the side the bridge of the nose. It's not much. So you see it just kind of just deepens a little bit of the shadow look. We're going to pull a little, little hair out into these areas. I'll put a little bit down there as well. Right at the base where the two colors are meeting. So it's not so bright down there. Okay, so that's the dry brushing. And when you're done with your brush, you want to make sure that you give it a little scrubby off to clean off. I'm going to take my Lunar Blender, my quarter inch Lunar Blender, and I'm going to pick up a little bit of the soft black. Remember we used soft black and black brown, and we did this section in here. So I'm going to pick up a bit of both of those colors again. I'm just going to brush mix them together. I'm not really going to mix them. So brush mix those together and I'm going to get a little bit of the cobblestone and I don't need much. What I'm doing with this is I want to be able to define faintly a little bit of a highlight. So do you see how that's going to define his jawline? It's more just for ourselves to be able to see it. I can just wisp a few little markings back into there. Um, I'm going to take that also and kind of come along underneath his eye. Just give him a little bit. And I'll just scratch that out. So this is, again, this is a little bit of cobblestone with soft black. So we're giving them a little bit of a highlight coming out there. And you can just kind of, with the brush, the tip of the brush will give you those little bits of scratchies that kind of fade out into there. So all of that just kind of scratches right out. There. I can take that same brush now and scratch a little bit of the lighter. So this is this is implying a little of that lighter fur. I'm going to pick up a little more on my brush. Just a little bit. That's good there. It's a little visible, a little bit lighter, and that's good for there. So we're going to work on his eyes. I've mixed a tiny bit of neutral gray into soft black. And I'm going to side load on my number six flat. 
and I'm going to shade just a tiny soft little float there on his eye and I'm going to turn my brush and just put another tiny bit right there. So there will be a tiny bit here and on this eye here I'm not going to put anything down in that corner. I'm going to take just soft black now and I'm going to shade just a little bit underneath the eye. The soft black has a little bit of a purpley brown in it so it does uh, a nice effect. I'm going to take a nice fine liner that I just went and put away. I'm going to haul back out. And I'm going to take a neutral gray and I'm going to do a nice fine eyelid. And on here, we're highlighting the one on the top. A little bit coming in and a little swipe there. I'm going to mix, we're just brush mix, a little bit of soft black into the neutral gray. So I just picked up the two with my brush and just kind of stirred them together on the palette. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a dirty brush, I'm not going to clean the brush, I'm going to pick up a little tiny bit of eggshell. So I'm going to take the dirty brush that has the neutral gray with a bit of soft black and I'm going to pick up a little tiny bit of eggshell. Just dirty brush mix them. I'm just wanting to lighten this up a little bit and I'm just going to add a couple of tiny little Just tiny little highlights on there. And then I'm going to pick up a little tiny bit of bleach sand. I just want to bring these highlights brighter gradually. I'm not looking for really, really bright. And I want some of the dots to join so they become the look of, of a little bit of a highlight glistening line. And I'm just going to take a little of that eggshell one and add a little bit more of a light highlight on there. Clean my liner and I'm going to add a little just neutral gray. So just neutral gray and a little line of a highlight there. And a little, like I don't want these bold. I just want them to have a little tiny bit of a highlight. He's quite in the dark there. His little eyes are very beady. <laughs> and we want to keep them dark. This side is quite shaded. So that works not too bad. All right. So that's for that step. Video shut off for a second there. We want have the look of all these little wispy hair that are messy. I'm going to put some dark in beside that so getting a little ahead of myself here. But you see how just these bits of hair sticking out add such a difference 
some are short, some are long. I don't want to come all the way down on that, but just bring a little bit there. And that's looking pretty cool. I'm going to take black brown mix. Now that's our four part bittersweet chocolate, one part black. Scrunch that in. And I'm going to pull a few little fine black brown hair. And we're going to go up top here and pull a few of these little fine hair that are coming out from behind the ear. So scrunch it out. Don't pull too long. You'd rather pull a lot of short little rows and some heading this way, some heading that way. They're quite little hairy off the top. I'm going to work my way down through here. I don't want it appear like rows. So you see how I'll just kind of stagger through. Scrunch it out a bit. If you're scratching and you're not getting anything, then you need more moisture. So I'm going to pick up a bit more moisture. Scrunch. There we go. So I'm going to get those little hair. So I'll just come back through here, put a little bit of these in here so we can put some light ones on top. We can see these dark guys through them. That's where when I said I was getting a little ahead of myself here. Because you still want to see See how I can put a few little dark hair in there and now that separates that and doesn't make it look like it's just all a white hair. So he's got a little mess coming from everywhere. It really does um, give him the depth that we're looking for. So you just pull in a few of those you can go back and pull in a few lighter, a few darker. We're going to put some more of the eggshell back on top. So you're going to get to see the layering look. But remember, I'm barely touching. I'm going to make a little darker section here. It's got a little... And when we put our light on top, you'll see that little bit of a darker section. And pull a few of these out of the ear. We've got it all dry brushed here, but you can have a few hair in your ear. Okay, so that's good for that. So I'm going to dry brush some black, lamp black, in this area using just my domed stippler. Scuff it off on your paper towel. And I'm going to dry brush in that area. So that just brings, I'm going to put a, 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 pardon me there, and I'm also going to, I think ahead of what I'm doing here, I'm also going to put a little bit dry brushed up inside of his ear.
Okay, so why don't I just try a smitch right in the middle of this where I've got the soft black brown mix. There, that's creating quite a bit of nice depth there for him. And I'm just going to toss that in the water. Black is pretty hard on your brushes, so it likes to stay for a while. And I'm going to use my quarter inch lunar blender. Could have had it out ahead of time for you. Thought I did. Hmm. Welcome to my world. I have misplaced it. Oh, no, I didn't. It's sitting right in front of me. Okay, so I'm going to take this lunar blender, taking a little bit of eggshell scuffing it off on the palette and I'm going to just kind of I'm not pressing hard I don't want to fill it in to be base coated but I just want to wisp in a little bit of the fine little bit of scratchy hairs coming up in here I am going to use the comb or rake, whichever you've got, to add a little bit more. But right now I just want to put in a little bit of a background for it. So I'm just going to scratch in a little stronger. Find his little chin there a bit more too. <clears throat> That's good. Gotta love these lunar blenders, I'm telling you. <clears throat> now, we want to enhance the little bits of, of hair that are on top of this section here. So I'm going to take my comb or rake and I'm going to take a tiny bit of driftwood and my soft black. So I'm going to use my comb or rake. I'm going to pick up, I'll slide that over a little bit more for you, pick up some soft black and some driftwood. Gives us a little bit of a pinky tone. I scrunch. See what I'm going to do? I'm going to twist it open so it's going to splay open those bristles nicely for you camera really jiggles quite a bit here and we're just going to just nice and softly I'm not touching hard I just want to apply a few I'm gonna get a little more moisture on that brush scrunch there a little more moisture will let a few more strokes come out we're not looking for too much we just want to delicately highlight coming from here. Wipe my brush. I'm going to get a bit more moisture and I'm going to pick up more driftwood. Scrunch again. So it's still dirty brush but the driftwood is going to be a little brighter. And then we're going to just kind of nice and softly come from there. I want them to be short little tiny very delicate. I'm 
You never want them to be completely in a line. So these are, are heading up this way, the little hair are going that way, and these ones here will gently start to... And all this really is, is a high... We're wanting this to be a highlight on his little face. I'm going to put some black ones in amongst those, which is, we dry brushed a bit of black back over here, but in this section it's the brown there. So now if I use the brush doing the same, I need a bit of moisture in there, scrunch it, and then I can put a few little tiny black ones in there too. That's going to break it up and I'll just blot that so you can see because it dries down for you a bit there. It looks just nothing but shiny. And when it fades off into the black dry brush, you won't really see anything. There, you've got some little bit of highlights that you can see there. Now I want to get a little bit of a brown tone, so we're going to go raw umber. When I find it. Now we're talking. We want to get little bits of, of brown in here. He's a dirty guy. So I've got raw umber and I'm going to just take and bring a few little highlights and then once I tint my raw umber with a little bit of driftwood We're going to have a little more of a brownish look. And we want to have these nice, fine, I totally need more liquid. Now we're talking. I want some light brown, fine light brown lines. Coming from his chin line. And these just wispy little hairs will overhang our dark down here. And that's gonna. So I've gone back into some eggshell here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of these little eggshell lines. A lot of times if I feel I've got a bit too much water in there, I just kind of blot with my finger. And I want to pull the little light lines. Remember how I said I'm putting the dark throughout them? Well, now we're going to feed back some light. I, I touch so lightly that it's like, am I touching? Am I touching? I don't want to press hard because I don't want, I want to keep these nice and fine. I have the brush tilted a smidgen. It's not laying down flat and it's not right up on my tip. And I'm going to pull 
a few light lines of hair into the ear as well. The odd place can get nice and hairy. Get rid of that where I came over the edge there. Put the odd little bit sticking up. And I can pull a few light down into that dark, hairy spot. Remember, we've always got the liner to come in and define a few that we can turn going certain directions if we want them to. So, but these hair that are coming up here are not going to be long like the little guys that are sticking out. I'm barely touching. If you feel you overdo something, you can always go back and scuff a little dry brushing, do a little, see how I'll just bring a few soft little fine lines over across that dark. So now what I feel is that we need to have a little more light. So we're gonna take a little warm white on the dirty brush. You still need that moisture, scrunch it and this is going to bring up a brighter. I don't want it to look white, but at the same time, we need it brighter than our eggshell is. So this on the dirty brush mixes them, right? So it's eggshell, warm white. I'm just brush mixing with the dirty brush. Scrunch it out. And we want those little tiny hairs light at the end of the, the odd lighter one that hangs over the ear a bit. See how it, it's not tons, but remember light always lifts everything up towards us. So having those extra little light hair. I'm pressing down a bit hard there. You see I get those little dots. But where I want the brightest white, or lighter, not white, is in these more solid looking sections. And I'll pull a few of those lighter ones here as well. See the difference that that makes. But you have to learn to be so delicate with this. You don't want to press hard. We want to keep it nice and soft. And you can overdo it. You can have too much. So you can go back and, like I say, you'll you'll play back and forth with this. But it's, it's good to be able to go in with our liner afterwards and, and really, I see where I want to have a little more eggshell, I think. With this little section here, I want to bring a little eggshell in around his eye a bit more. Yeah. All right. And the direction you pull it in pulls your eye that way as well. Strengthen up some of these little spots. And remember how we talked about his hair being messy and heading in different directions. That 
that helps. I'm going to take some of that eggshell and I'm going to scrunch it out. And I'm going to, where we've got the, the dry brush in here, or base coating that we did with the Lunar Blender, just a quick base coat, I'm going to strengthen up here. Now these hairs head up this way, and then these ones head down. And there's not going to be too much coming off of here. One more moisture. But just a little bit. They just come off of there. We're going to get heavy into whiskers after they come down. But just a little bit to come off of there. But you see the directional change that these go in. I want this to kind of just messy off into here. See how this tapers that little jaw out in there and it, it's going to bring I don't want it solid so we stopped our base coat back there. But we're able to bring these little hair in. So he's got what we call whisker holes. I'm going to call them whisker holes. So I'm going to take a little eggshell and raw umber. And I'm just going to... I'm actually going to just take more raw umber. I just want to have a bit of a shadow in here. And then I'm going to pull back over top of that. So those little holes will. Now I'll put the eggshell back. See how we're getting that little dark shadow under there. Now I'll get my warm white again with my eggshell. And we'll brighten up. I'm going to take a little bit of raw umber. Let's see if I can pull this back over here. No, it's not going to fit in there. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of raw umber and I'm going to use my smaller, my little 1 8 lunar blender. And the, or so I'm taking raw umber and some driftwood. And I'm going to begin coming up from where the nose is going to go. So I'm going to get a bit more on here. Raw umber and driftwood. You think I'm going to be afraid of running out of paint? I'm squirting out so little. Oh wait, I am. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to pick up more raw umber and driftwood. And I'm going to come from where the nose is going to be base coated, rebase coated. And I'm going to start and I'm just going to nice and softly That, and I'm going to bring up this little tiny, very thin and sheer hairs coming up the nose. They're going to be very short hair. And I'll just kind of pull them over into that. So it's really going to just fade off into the soft black that I have here. I don't want too, too much. I still, it's, it's more or less just highlighting that 
soft black section on his nose. It's going to give a little bit of a shimmer. I'm going to put a little bit of black into there as well. But so just this little bit coming up his nose. It's a little brownie. And I'm going to pick up that black that I just talked about. And I'm going to pull a few little fine ones using your little 1 8 square or pardon me filbert comer rake is a wonderful size to use i uh, i really like that and i'm going to take a little of that black on there and i'm going to come in around his eye a bit too and just pull a little tiny bit um, it almost will indicate a bit of a shadow, even. And I'll come in over here, too. Just pull in that little bit. That's going to darken it nicely there. I'm going to slide a little dark in my little eyeliner here. This dark just is going to just is gonna it's just is gonna do it it's gonna pull your eyes see how i'll bring a little bit of that in the tear duct and maybe a little over here i like to like i say i'll i'll pat it a little bit just a few fine little lines they end up giving you just a little bit more depth. It, when they dry, you don't see them as much, but they are important. And all of, all of your little lines and strokes that you don't really ever see that much are going to show up better for you once you put on a coat of varnish. That just really pulls it all out nicely for you. I'm going to pull a few under here, too. Like I say, they'll dry down. You won't really see them. But you'll see them more when, when we have our varnishing afterwards. I do want a couple more in here. Just let them fade down into that brown we just put there. See how it just gives it a little bit more of a bushy look? Darken around the eyes nicely. I'm going to lighten the highlight around that little eye after two, I think. So we've got all these little tiny fine hair now, and, and he's looking pretty cool. I'm going to work on his nose, and we're going to use our liner and touch up a few highlights and things. So that's going to be next. So we're going to base coat his, rebase coat his nose, and I'm going to rebase coat his nose in black. Okay, so we're going to take, now we're working on his nose. I've rebase coated it, I've dried it. My tape is still on. Hmm. I think I'm going to want his little nose to stick out off of there. So, so I'm going to dry brush push that up a bit more there so you can see. I'm going to dry blah, 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 that's all folks. I'm going to dry brush his nose. So we've base coated it. It's just going to it scoots down just a little bit over the edge, not lots. And I'm going to take my dome stippler and I'm going to dry brush nice and soft along there. I made those like little piggy no nostrils. <laughs> I want it a little higher than that. Leaving the dark down here for the little nostrils. There we go. 
his nostrils are a little more in place. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to, on the dirty dome stippler, I'm using my little one quarter. Pardon me, one eight. And I'm going to dry brush now. I picked up a little bit on the dirty brush of, I'm picking up the gray sky. And I'm just going to nice and softly dry brush a brighter highlight across the center of his nose. I'm going to go back in to the gray sky and I'm pouncing some into the palette and I'm just going to tap. It, it just gives that little tiny, like you know how their nose is always wet? It gives that little bit of a look there. I'm going to take my one eighth lunar blender and I'm going to pick up a little bit of the gray sky and a little tiny bit of driftwood. So I'm just touching into the both of those. Pat it off on your palette. We don't want to too much and I'm going to just take and I'm just going to tap a little bit of a highlight there. You see how it's just, and I can pick up a smidge more of the gray sky now because I wanted it a little duller on that side. I can pick up a little more of the gray sky when I tap in a little on this side. You know how they have that little bit of dried whatever sitting on their nose there? And I'm going to put a little touch there too. So that gives them a little bit of a highlight there. And I'm going to take some of the bittersweet, which I didn't squirt out. Clean my brush off, pick up some bittersweet, scuff it off on here. And I'm just going to dry brush with my little Lunar Blender. Bittersweet. So I just brown that up a bit. Now I'm going to go into soft black and repeat it. Not quite up as far. So that just gives them a little bit of a dry brush there. And I'm going to just kind of very softly, not hardly anything but what's left on my brush, just kind of dry brush a little shadow on either side of his little nose there. So that just pushes it down a little bit. That works good. Those little noses isn't too bad. I'm going to put a little of that dry brush, just a smitch on his little eyes. And I am going to take my liner and I'm going to add that little bit of a highlight on that eye over there. When earlier I wasn't going to. I don't want it too, too bright. Pop that one up a little bit. There. So now we talked about how we're going to use our liner to add our whiskers. I want to use bleach sand. And my warm white. So I'll start with the bleach sand. I'm just putting out a little paint. I should have been out, had it out ready, but you know. Okay, so I'm going to start with bleach sand. I'm going to thin it down nice and inky. And I'm going to pull in a couple. 
and nice and inky. Pull in a few whiskers and you want them to go different directions. His little whiskers are going to cross each other. After you do a couple like this, I'm going to pick up a bit of the warm white. It's got to be thinned as well. I'm not cleaning the liner out. And I'll pull in a few brighter ones. Now a couple of these you want them to go out nice and far. If you have a hard time with fine lines like this, you can use flow medium. If you've got flow medium, Josanya makes a nice flow medium. And you just dip your liner in it rather than in water and it extends your flow time. It, it'll pull, let, allow you to pull your lines out further without, and then we'll have a few short little lines too. He's got a couple of short little whiskers. Let's give him a couple of those. Now I'm going to take my liner and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to bring in, remember we talked about those, you're going to be able to bring a few fine little hair here and there just to accent. I'll bring a couple of nice long little lashes by his eyes. You can pick up again. I'm going to just kind of go in here and I'm picking up a little of the bleach sand as well. Make sure I twirl my liner on the palette so that I don't have it too fine. Now, I wanted to have like the odd hair coming in here to break these things up, but if I used my comb to do that, then I'd have more than one hair where I want to only kind of direct one or two going a certain way. So, and you can again get carried away with this just as easy as not. So, I recommend you do a couple on one side, go over and do a couple on the other side. That way you don't tend to get a little carried away with it. See how we can make, you know, his eyebrows kind of pop off a different direction. Things that you, where you feel, okay, I've got just too much of a dark patch, go in there and just bring a few. Things like that will highlight. Remember always, light comes towards you, dark pushes away. So if I want to pop up the look there, I just go with a few in a row. And it's going to pull a few here. But these get to go different directions. So we get to kind of just change the direction and have them a little messy. But it does, it does add quite a bit. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to pop up the white a bit in here. So it just makes it a, that little bit stronger. And I still wouldn't mind a couple longer guys. If you find too that, and, and you can have a, a whisker come down over top of there too, which is perfect. So, but if you find that you tend to make, you have a hard time making your whiskers go in different directions when you're doing things like that, you would try, I think it would be great to try one or two over here, one or two over here, come back over here. That way, if you're going from side to side, putting these little whiskers in, you may see that it, you're, you're changing the direction of your hand easier. 
you get to, you know, when you're doing it all this way, you, you get in a feeling and you're going that direction all the time. So if you switch from side to side, I think you might uh, enjoy it a bit better. It also works better, I'm just going to turn this a bit too, if you, if you tend to pull towards yourself. That helps too. So if you're pulling towards yourself, you might feel like you have more success with whiskers. A couple long guys. Let's pull a few down here. I'm going to pick up more white now. Pop up a couple. A few hair sticking up. Strengthening some highlight lines there. I can see that I didn't sand and seal very well on my board. We're not telling anybody that, but that's where I'm getting a lot of little fine greens here. We're painting this on, on wood, so it's better for outside, but if you are painting on MDF, you, you don't end up with those. So kind of one of the benefits for that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to strengthen black with my liner inside the eye. Just crisp up. It's like an inside eyeliner. Just want to darken that spot over there where I brought some of that down. And that that kind of gives them a little more of that beady eye look too. Bring his tear duct out a bit there. Okay. So not too bad with that. We've got a shade under his nose, and then we're gonna go and put some pine branches in. One thing about something like this, I think I might even See, I say like, no, that's good. And then it's like, well, maybe I'm going to, but I'm just going to take a little bit of eggshell. When I look at it, I'd like a few more little lines coming down in here. Yeah, like that. I think I'll do that over here too. So what I was talking about there was we're going to shade. The last thing I think we need to do is I'm going to just shade a nice little side load float. Uh, nice and soft. And I'm going to float some black under his nose where he's poking over onto the board. So we're just going to come in here, nice and soft. Let's bring a little more. Where's my little mop? Hiding. really hiding and soften that out yeah that looks pretty good I'll let that dry a bit and then I'll strengthen just directly underneath the nose all right and we're gonna next go to our pine branches so we're gonna add branches I'm gonna thin down a little bit of bittersweet chocolate and we're going to pull in our pine boughs. So I've pulled a few over here. You don't see them too well on the black at this point, but they're pretty much going to be covered in pine needles. 
So I've thinned down black green and I'll begin with with bringing in some black green. So let's just see if I can there get a little more of this in the picture for you. It's a bit better and I'm going to take and using the thin down paint liner standing straight up I always rest my wrist while I'm pulling in my fine lines and I like to have them heading different directions as well. Don't poker straight them. They have to crisscross each other. This makes them look more natural. So what we're really doing with the black green at this point is we're putting in the background needles. So I'll pull in and we have more coming from further on up here. So of course you would have just a couple coming, <clears throat> pardon me, just pull a couple so that you don't really see the branch that they're coming from. So I like to pull and do a section at a time. <clears throat> pardon me. So what we're doing here is we're pulling these darker needles and then I'm going to switch to plantation pine. Of course I've thinned it down as well. I don't bother cleaning my liner off. We don't need a clean liner. I see the pine. Let's see if that works a bit more into the line of view. I think I'll put a few more black greens in here too. Plantation pine, nice and thin down. and work between my colors. Now the ones that you pull down over top of the black that's from underneath inside the crack in the board from the roof Ray's poking out through. You won't see as much. You see the plantation doesn't hardly show there. So I'm into avocado. Thin down. I'm still going to put some avocado in the top ones as well, but I just wanted you to see how the avocado will bring another dimension into it so you can see them. And still, even with that, I kind of feel like it could use a little stronger. So I've got a little bit of medium hauser, and I'm only going to really use the medium hauser to highlight a couple of light ones where it's down in the black area. I'm not going to bother with it up in the upper area. I like more black green up here, so I'm going to bring in some more of the dark. Yeah, I like that better. That way we're going to have a nice, strong shadow. dark leaves and dark leaves, dark needles coming through there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to repeat that on the other branches. <clears throat> 